few days back, I received a message from a mysterious Twitter user telling me to go visit a set of coordinates on this Minecraft server. With the location not being far from where I was, I decided to go and check it out. Um, we're almost here. Oh, what the? No. No way. Lo and behold, something was actually there. Written in a book was a message that told me to go to the same exact coordinates in the nether. I was a bit skeptical that this was just going to waste my time, but my curiosity got the best of me. To the nether roof it was. I swear, if, if, if they take me from 500-500 on the nether roof to like 500-500 in the end, I'm going to be so mad. But just as I was about to enter the portal to head to my next destination, I would face a problem that I never would have expected. Who is that? What? Who is this? Who is this? I'm going in the nether. I'm going in the nether. Oh my gosh, dude. Who is that? Narrowly escaping an ambush, I quickly got confused. You see, combat in the server spawn is supposed to be banned, but this person knowingly attacked me. But upon arriving at the next location, it all started to make sense. No way. They actually left something here too? No way. A totem? They gave me a- oh wait, free totem. At this point, I'd realized that this was now a server-wide hunt for something, and with only 24 hours to solve the puzzle, a lot was up for stakes. Sorry about not being specific about the cords. Now where might this go? What does that mean? Now where might this go? What I soon realized was that the clue was referring to the totem that was left inside of the item frame just moments before. So, where exactly would a totem of undying go? It at first made no sense. Why would they do this? So. They had, where might this go? So I headed back to the overworld and then I struck a light bulb. I think I just figured it out. Spoke got two illegal totems from this farm, right? It's possible that one of these illegal totems I'm holding right now, and if that's really true, then this totem belongs in Spoke's illegal vault. I'm not totally sure, but I have a very strong feeling. Yup. I'm sure you had a close encounter, you might want to go train someone. This was a simple task. The server has a gym, and if I were to head there, I would probably find something. Okay, so Parrot, you're at the- you're at the place, right? I mean, I think I'm at the place, why? Is this okay, you? So Are you the one going... doing all these clues? I don't know. So, I'm that's a to... yes. So that's a yes. You're gonna- you're gonna race me. In that little room. No, no way. No, I cannot win that, dude. This is Sponker, one of Minecraft's best PvPers, and my next clue was for me to parkour against this guy. Something I forgot to mention, if I couldn't solve this hunt in 24 hours, whoever was up against me would get to change one of my YouTube thumbnails. Basically, this race had really high stakes. Are you here? Yeah. yeah. Wait, what do you mean race? So the rules are, there's no, there's no water, there's no purling, there's none of that. I mean, you can, if you fall, you have to start over. What? Oh. Wanna find out? Yeah, ready? Go. Bro, okay. Oh! Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> I'm gonna beat you! No, you're not. No way. Bro. Bro! Let me out! How do I make this? What? Wait, what? No! You're kidding! Come on, bro. Come on, bro! Oh, you're joking. Wait, what if I just, like, crit you out? <laughs> bro, I thought... Oh! No way, bro. No way. <laughs> oh. No, I got it. I did it, I did it, I did it! <laughs> Mission complete, but little did I know that as time went on, the clues would just get harder and harder. Congrats on your training. Visit the walking tic tac? The walking tic tac is a server member named Zam, who quite literally looks like a walking tic tac. Oh, Zam! Oh, I saw that. I saw that clue in his hand. I saw that. Alright, why, why am I supposed to talk to you? That's my question. I don't know. Why are you? You're yeah. you're the yellow tic tac, right? No, Al. <laughs> you are, dude. No, no. Here, come uh, here, come you here. tag me. Okay, there you go. What? 
That's that was it. That was it. You had really? to tag me or something. Yeah. All right. Whoever made this next clue probably should have made it harder. The sussy statue really has only one meaning: the server's Among Us statue. So I quickly headed over there. Look at those guys. I don't want to be around them. Yeah, they're scary. Oh, I found it! I found it. Wait, really? Yeah, I found the Jerry log. All right. Yeah, no. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna need that uh. Because I'm running away. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> okay. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Wait. Let's see. Very cool, but now you must slay the red skunk. Now, who is the red skunk? I assumed it had to be some sort of player, so I thought to myself for a bit and then I quickly realized. The server has a member named Pangy, whose skin is a pangolin, or this thing. And come on, skunks and pangolins kind of look the same. So far, the scavenger hunt had been going by very quickly, but little did I know how much more difficult this was about to get. Alright, I'm gonna get my stuff ready, just in case I do get jumped here. All right. You shouldn't be scared oh, of me, Barrett. Oh, oh, what I'm the? Just saying. Oh, hi. Hello. I mean, just, just wait before you actually try to fight me. Yeah, yeah. You can see at me that I'm really buffed. As you may know, I can I can run really fast as a skunk does. <laughs> um, and you should totally not want to kill me, of course, because um, then I will be I would be scared. Yeah. I, I I got a clue for you. Yeah, what's up? You gotta actually kill me though. If you want to kill. What the heck? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh. Genuinely thought I was about to die, dude. I forgot that the void trap was here. Now I knew that whoever had made this thing was genuinely playing with my life. That was a void trap that I had built a couple months earlier, and the only thing between me and death was one layer of blocks, but I had no other choice besides moving on. Pangy had dropped multiple things, one being a book. That wasn't that hard, now put those detective skills to work and find me at your old base. Okay, there's a bunch of old bases, and I am... But what really confused me was all of this wool. No person in their right mind carries around this much of one block, so I immediately knew it had something to do with the puzzle. What could it mean? I tried testing out all sorts of different patterns, but eventually got tired and went to bed. There's a reason for that, and I don't know why. Zams. I know there's a lot of concrete. There's a lot of concrete at Zams. Oh my gosh, no. You know what this is? What is it? Okay. When we were evacuated from our very first base, you know the three people who raided us? Yeah. Sam, Leo Wook, and Clown Pierce. Yellow, white, and red. Oh, you're right. Do you think that's it? Yeah. Do you think no, that's it? Right. Do you think that's actually right. it? Oh my yeah. gosh, dude, I'm a genius. I'm a genius. <laughs> so with a plan in mind, I began heading to my very first base on the server. And sure enough, when I arrived, I had found something. I'm praying, dude. Was this all pre-built? What is this? Oh! We all know you've seen Stampy before, now can you hit the target? Wait, so I have to take this and hit the target? Is this even possible? What the heck? Oh, I got him! I actually got him! What? That was like first try. So I can clearly just drop down. Oh my gosh. He had a clue. He had a clue on him. Nice aim, but I hope you're not allergic to dogs because you'll have fun with them. Meet me at the hermit base. So my best guess is that we're going to have to meet up with Vitalicy, right? Because he created a dog army. I can even remember the chords to this, which is like hours of running on the nether roof. So I began my journey on the nether roof and time was running out. But while we are running, I just want to remind you to subscribe. By subscribing, the YouTube algorithm makes it so that you're notified first when my videos come out. And besides, it doesn't hurt at all. But as I approached the base, remember how I said I was going to meet a player there? Well, I couldn't be further from the truth. Turns out, there were dogs. And I mean a lot of dogs. Well, this whole beacon is just gone. What? The heck? Oh my gosh. Go to the coordinates of the dog with the name tag on. Oh. Wait. Oh my gosh, dude. 
To break it down for you, there were a lot of different coordinates, and although I could have visited every single one, I knew that there had to be something that made one set of coordinates different from the others, so I continued to look around. Oh, I found it! You see, this was the only set of coordinates that had the X value first, so I took them and headed back to spawn, and sure enough, they led somewhere. You've come too far, but this isn't over yet. I'm sure you're hungry for a birthday treat, so take this cake. Now go find the closest shipwreck. So to the shipwreck it was, and believe me, I thought this was gonna take a really long time, but somehow it didn't. Oh! I found one, I found one. Ah, Mr. Wreck Parrot! Grab. Hello! For this clue, I'm gonna need to do a, a bit of wizardry, okay? And you're gonna need to follow these steps. Open your inventory, click on the green book. Okay. <laughs> are, you, are you in the crafting menu? Yeah, I'm in the crafting menu. Okay, I need you to type excited Z E. Can you do that what? for me? <laughs> what did you just do? <laughs> huh? Wait, what? Magic. Captain's log? How did you do that? What? Wait, wait, what did you just do to my game? <laughs> It's a, uh, only, only the true Minecraft veterans know of this trick, Parrot. RecRap had basically changed my game language to a pirate language, and now I had four items to find, which seems easy, but I don't know what they are since their names are literally from the pirate ages. Wait. Oh, I already have one for you. All right. So there's oh, the- Oh, you, you have the first one. Okay. The Rocko Jewel True Alive. Sobin. Carrot Jewel Alive. Jewel Alive. One down. Three more to go. This, my friend, is the R challenge. The R challenge. Oh my gosh. So, off I went. My only mission being to get all four of these items. Rocketeers. Wait. Rocketeers is... What? Oh! If Obsidian is Rocketeers, Rocket True Sobin has to be... Crying Obsidian. First off... Oh, I know who has Crying Obsidian. Ah, uh, it spoke. Hold on. I need your Crying Obsidian ASAP, bro. ASAP. Dude, I don't have much time left, bro. I need to do this fast. Buddy, I am running- I am working <laughs> around hard. the clock right now, buddy. Bro, oh, I got it. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go. Super Bloody Potato and Ship's Bane. Oh, I have Ship's Bane. Huh? Yeah, that's the name of the Flint Steel. Is it actually? Yeah. Where are you? <laughs> do you need it? Yes, bro! <laughs> wow. <laughs> Dude, I don't even have enough. I don't really have any bones for you, but... Alright, all the items are complete, I think. Good oh freaking job, Parrot. Super bloody Thanks potato, you. dude. You, you've achieved... You've gotten all the items? Yeah. Okay. Alright, what does it well, say? Come meet me at the top of MOB. It was at this point that I realized I was about to figure out who was behind all of this. I heard the pop sound, and then I looked around and just... Nothing was there. So, oh my gosh, is it subs? Is it actually subs? I want to know, is it spoke, vortex, or subs? That is a question I have wanted to know. I have eight minutes to figure out who is behind this. Oh my gosh, dude. Well, 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 look who it, uh, look who it is. The mastermind behind this elaborate plan was the one and only vortex dragon. I should have suspected it. This guy was on every single time I was solving a clue. So what is the point of your uh, thing? What, what is the objective here? Well, uh, I need you to come down to the second floor because I'm at like the top floor, not like the, the 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 hunt ends in six minutes. You know, I started at 10 p.m. last night and it is 9:54. So it's all been a game to play this one game called Hide and Seek Tag. No. You have six minutes to find me. I'm in an MOB. See your stupid name tag, bro. You are annoying, dude. Where the heck did you go? Oh, I thought that was you for a sec. Oh, you are annoying. Where the heck do you keep going, bro? Are you on the elevator right now?
Hey, 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 hey. Yo! Oh, yo, this kid's toxic! I knew it, dude! I knew it was you! Oh my gosh! End of story, using invisibility in a game of hide and seek tag is a bit too unfair. And since I had lost, it meant I had to change one of my YouTube thumbnails to whatever Vortex wanted. No, bro! You have to no! Use that? no. <laughs> For one I'm not. One I know week. I cannot use one that week. thumbnail. One week. I can't use that one thumbnail. Week. Right. Yeah, if you want to see the video with the new thumbnail, it'll be in the top right. YouTube, please don't delete my channel.